guys let's try this problem right here here this question is asking consider a very long rectangular pin attached to a flat surface such that the temperature at the end of the pin is essentially that the surrounding of the air right its width is 5 cm thickness is 1 mm thermal conductivity is 200 and base temperature is 40 the heat transfer coefficient is 20 estimate the pin temperature at a distance of 5 cm from the base and the rate of heat loss from the end of here right so here they are asking for the temperature pin temperature at a distance and also we have they are asking for the the rate of heat loss from the entire pin right now also this is a long rectangular pin so whenever we have long pin we use this equation that is T minus T infinity over T B minus T infinity is equal to E power minus MX, right? So this is the general equation used for long fins. Now the here the question is asking for temperature at a distance. So this is the one we are interested in. This the one, this T, right? This T is the temperature at distance. Now let's see whether we have all the information available. Ambient temperature that is surrounding. So whenever they say surrounding air, that's the ambient temperature, T infinity. So this is our ambient temperature. And uh, also we need base temperature that's provided right here, base temperature, Tb. And we, we need E power minus Mx. So X is distance, that's 5 centimeter, right? So it's provided. But we need to know this M value. To find out M value, there's another equation that is m is equal to square root of hp over kac right so here h is heat transfer coefficient p is perimeter k is thermal conductivity ac is cross sectional area now this is a rectangle okay? and uh, heat transfer coefficient is provided that's two let's plug all the values first we have heat, heat transfer coefficient that is 20 so 20 right here and then Second one is perimeter, right? So since this is a rectangle of print, the perimeter is going to be two times width and two times thickness. Now you know about it's better to write the generic form in that pattern and then plug the value. That way it will be very clear. Now h times two times thickness plus two times thickness. So this is going to be per perimeter for a rectangular shape, right? Now kac thermal conductivity and cross-sectional area is simply width time thickness so width time thickness now let's plug the values heat transfer coefficient that's provided 20 so 20 and 2 times width now which one is going to be the width? width is provided 5 cm right and also thickness is we have thickness so everything is easy now 2 times 10 to the power of minus 2 meter and plus 1 times 10 to the power of minus 3 because we have that one in millimeters so this is going to be 10 to the power of minus 3 meter and in the bottom we are going to have thermal conductivity that is 200 and we have width time thickness that's going to be 2 times 10 to the power of minus 2 times 1 times 10 to the power of minus 3 right and this will, this will be meter square let's avoid this units if we write unit, we have to write for everything, otherwise it's better to avoid that one. Now, this is 2 times this one, okay. Did I multiply by 2? Two? 2, so I had to multiply this whole thing by 2 because it's 2 times this no time. So all we have to do is simply multiply by 2. Now, let's multiply. If you if you calculate this value, you will end up with 14.28 meter minus 1, right? Now we have m value. Now all you have to do is simply plug in, in this equation. Now if you rearrange this equation, that's going to be e power minus mx is going to give you t minus t infinity. Let's plug the values, right? We have this equation already, so we can plug the values. So let's plug the values. Here we are trying to find t. That's the question. 
and minus T infinity surrounding air temperature that's 20 over base temperature 40 40 minus 20 is equal to E power minus M value 14.2 H and it's 5 centimeter distance from the base so 5 times 10 to the power minus 2 and if you calculate this value you, should, you will end up with 0 0.489 and this is going to be 20 right 40 minus 20 so this is T is going to be equal to this one times 20 489 times 20 plus 20 and if you calculate this one you will end up with 29.78 degrees Celsius. Now we have the tem first part, we answered the first part. What is the temperature at this distance? Now the second part is asking the rate of heat loss from the area fin. So for a very long fin, we use this equation. Let's see. Here we have space. Okay, let's continue with this one right here. So for a very long fin, we use q dot is equal to, so let's write this one q dot long, it's only for long, very long fin, right, q dot long is equal to square root of h p k a c times t b minus t infinity. So this is the general equation. Now let's plug the values. h is heat transfer coefficient, that's 20 perimeter two times this one times this one so this plus this one times two right wait perimeter two two divided by this and uh, plus this two plus one multiply by two 4 times mm, 3 times 2 6 okay so here it seems it seems like we made some mistake previously it's a uh, Two times width, uh, right? So it's five centimeter. Five centimeter is basically zero point zero five, right? Zero point zero five. So you should have plugged this one, but this value is correct because I already calculated using the correct value. But this one, there should be a zero point zero five, right? because that's the width and we are multiplying that width by 2 so you should avoid so this is actually 5 because we are multiplying this by 10 to the power minus 2 so here we had to put 5 right here and we are, since we are multiplying outside 2 we can get rid of this 2 okay now this is correct and if you calculate this one you will end up with this value that is 0 0.102 and uh, since you know because one is in millimeter and the other one is in meter so that's why we are getting a value like this 0 point and this is multiplication 20 let's put like this 20 times 0 0.102 times thermal conductivity is 200 times 0 0.00005 right that's cross sectional area because if you multiply 1 by this and that is 10 to the power of minus 5 so that's why we get this one and if you calculate this one you, you sh and also we had to multiply this one by base temperature minus ambient temperature that's base temperature is what 40 minus ambient temperature that's 20 so you will end up with 20 and if you calculate this one you will end up with 2.8565 watts and if we approximate this one this is going to be 2.86 watts 
right? And that's going to be the final answer. So these are the two in, the two uh, two of the question asking. One is the heat loss, and the other one is the temperature at a distance that is five centimeter distance. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.